Vader sat in his meditation chamber. Thoughts swirled around his head. Thoughts of his son Luke, who had grown powerful in the Force. Thoughts of Luke's mother Padme. But these were weak thoughts. These thoughts belonged to Anakin Skywalker, and Anakin Skywalker was dead. For a short moment, Vader thought about the life Anakin almost had, but soon the twisted smile of Palpatine offering empty promises haunted his thoughts. Rage began to fill the normally serene meditation chamber. Vader clenched his fists and the room began to shake. But then Vader calmed. His anger made him powerful. It gave him focus. Vader began to think of the young Jedi that was with Obi-Wan Kenobi, Leia. The Force was telling him something about her. He could feel the connection between Luke and Leia. At this point, nothing mattered but hunting her down and ending Kenobi's legacy. Leia's ship entered the tractor beam of the Death Star. As her ship touched down, a squad of stormtroopers forms up in front of her. Vader's dark apprentice, Luke, is standing at the front of the ranks. Now, at this point in the story, the Empire does not know that Luke is leaking information to the Rebel Alliance, but Leia knows, and she has bet everything on the hope that Luke will help her defeat the Emperor and Darth Vader. Luke waves the stormtroopers away. This was a prisoner he could handle himself. So he takes Leia to a holding cell, and on the way he tells her that she shouldn't have come, but he will help her escape. He tells Leia that there are some final preparations he must make if they are going to escape. However, Leia tells him that her plan is not to escape, but to put an end to Vader and the Emperor. Looking at the ground, Luke sighs, and tells her that even if they worked together, they would not be strong enough to defeat the two Sith Lords. As they approach a cell in the Death Star's detention level, Luke tells Leia that he is sorry for what happened to her master, Obi-Wan, the destruction of Chandrilla, and everything else. His apology is genuine. He then explains that she must wait in this cell until he returns. Thrown off by his apology, Leia chooses to trust Luke in this moment, and she enters the cell. The doors slide shut behind her, but before they do, she hears Luke say he won't be long. At that moment, the Rebel Alliance exits hyperspace. The attack on the Death Star is about to happen. In this story, the Rebels had just a bit more time to prepare for this attack. The sudden destruction of Chandrilla forced the Alliance to take action a bit earlier than even they thought was wise. But this time, instead of the Empire coming to them, they would come to the Empire. There were a handful of battlecruisers and frigates commanded by Admiral Akbar, while there were several fighter squadrons commanded by Harrison Dula and Wedge Antilles. The plans recovered from Scarif revealed a weakness in the station's design. According to the team that had recovered these plans, it was an intentional flaw placed by the chief engineer Galen Urso. Harrison Dula would lead her fighters against the main defense systems of the Death Star, including the swarms of TIE fighters while Wedge Antilles would lead his squad down the trench toward the exhaust port. Leia sat on the floor of the dark cell. She could sense the battle outside beginning, but now was her chance to commune with the Force and prepare herself for the deadly duel of her life. Luke returned to get Leia. Leia tried to ask Luke what he was doing, but Luke simply responded by telling her he had to get some things that would be essential to the Emperor's destruction. Meanwhile, the battle between the Rebel fleet and the Death Star continued to rage on. The Rebel ships were barely making a dent in laser cannon defenses, and now swarms of TIE fighters had been deployed. The Rebel fleet was certainly being stretched beyond their capacity in this fight. Inside the Death Star, Luke and Leia stood silent in the elevator that was taking them to Palpatine's throne room. This was the moment that would define the Skywalker twins. The elevator opened to reveal an open room with a throne at the top of the steps leading to a window into space. Beyond that window, flashes of red and green dotted the outside space, revealing the gruesome battle between the Rebels and the Empire. Seated on the dark throne was Emperor Palpatine and Vader stood behind him. As Luke and Leia approached the throne, Palpatine stood up to greet them. Welcome, young Jedi. We've been expecting you. Luke stepped to the side as Palpatine came face to face with Leia. Luke knew at this point to stay out of Palpatine's way. Luke watched as the Emperor taunted Leia, telling her soon she would belong to him just as Luke and Vader belonged to him. 
Angry at hearing this, Luke began to reach for his lightsaber. He'd make his move now, against his better judgment, knowing that Leia would quickly follow. They probably wouldn't stand a chance, but Luke was sure that he could at least take out the Emperor in this moment. But before he could unclip his lightsaber, the strong hand of his father rested on his shoulder. Confused, Luke looked at Vader, who nodded in confirmation, and suddenly in one fluid moment, Darth Vader lunged and activated his crimson lightsaber in Palpatine's back. Leia was face to face with Palpatine as a look of shock overtook the old man's face. Vader deactivated his lightsaber as the frail body of Palpatine fell to the ground. The Emperor was dead. Vader looked at Leia and without acknowledging the game-changing moment that had just taken place, he simply said, Join us, daughter, and together we can rule this galaxy as a family. But Leia didn't know how to respond. She came here to bring an end to the leaders of the Empire, not help the second in command crown himself Emperor. After a moment, she raised her lightsaber and looked up at Vader. I'll never join you. The Empire has to come to an end. And then she swung her saber at Vader. The Sith Lord's red lightsaber met hers just in front of his helmet. As their duel began, Luke stepped off to the side, conflicted. He had spent so much time hating his father, but with the Emperor dead, he could feel that his father was free of a hold that has controlled his life for so long. Luke could sense the conflict in his father. There was good in him. And of course, Leia knew none of this, so she was going to fight to the death. But Luke knew it would be to her death if he didn't intervene. Thanks for watching part four, everyone. We'll come out with part five here pretty quickly. I still have a few key things I want to address in the story, so I decided a fifth part would probably be the best way to do that instead of cramming it all into a fourth part. Plus, I really enjoy getting your feedback as I develop these stories. So leave a comment below. What do you want to see in the next part? What did you like about this part? Maybe what did you not like in this part? Let me know in the comments below, and if you haven't already, be sure to leave a like and tell me what you're hoping to see from this channel as we move forward. I do my best to respond to every comment I can. I really enjoy interacting with everybody. I'll catch you in the next video and may the force be with you.